I'm feel so terrible. I I feel that will destroy my dreams. Uh, not just my dreams, but my children's life. Harry Pangamanan is the latest undocumented immigrant from Indonesia to find sanctuary at the Reformed Church of Highland Park. He joins two others, one who's been there for 14 days, another for 110. I honestly tried to get the entire Indonesian community to move in here as one last spring after Donald Trump became president. United States ICE agents conducted a five-day operation targeting, quote, criminal aliens charged with immigration violations. Several were detained, but Harry dodged the agents with the help of Reverend Seth Copperdale. We fully expected ICE to try to take people. I mean, they have been taking people. So none of it surprised us. It really didn't surprise us. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is enough. It's right now, I, you know, especially for my wife and my girls uh, sleeping here during the night. Uh, this was, you know, the children's library for our Sunday school programs here at the, at the church. I got feel uh, freedom, but not like in my apartment. In here, you have to stay in here. And pastor said, don't go out. If you go out, they're still watching you. Even though I cannot walk outside to see the world and the way it's supposed to be for me, but thanks God, you know, the people around me here really helping me a lot. Governor Phil Murphy promised to join the fight against President Trump's policies on deportation. He visited the church to offer his support. The open doors, the beacon of immigration around the world. Um, that's the America I know, that's the America I know that you know, Frank and Seth and others here. And we um, Indonesian know that. You know that that's too. That's right. Yeah. We all around the world look up at our country as the, as the model. I feel <laughs> still pain because I'm thinking about family, about my child. We are not aiding and abetting. We are highlighting, not hiding people. We're making sure that um, we let people see the atrocious nature of the Trump immigration policies. It's not clear what the future is for these men, but the church intends to allow them to stay as long as needed. In the meantime, they can only hope that lawmakers will change the policy. He's the hate crime president who's carrying out racial and ethnic cleansing under the guise of immigration reform. That is who he is. I just kind of you know, try to be positive. So we just kind of live that way. Uh, let's go through today and then tomorrow God's have a plan for us. I'm just working very hard with this country. I'm, you know, I'm not making any criminals at all. And I'm hoping they're gonna make a change their heart to give me opportunity. Everybody got a second chance. Freedom is a necessary part of full life.